talking about love, specifically love as it's described in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And for this last attribute, Paul ends by saying love never fails. That's pretty awesome, but what does it mean? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Pastor Brad Rocks, man. I am Pastor Brad. I love to rock for Jesus. This channel is all about my classic style hard rock and metal music that glorifies and honors God and Christian videos just like this one that will rock you up in your thing. If you're new here and that sounds like something that would be a blessing to you, man, consider subscribing. It always perseveres. Love never fails. Simply put, love never stops loving. That's what that means. It doesn't mean that people don't separate sometimes and go their separate ways or have disagreements. For example, in the book of Acts, Paul and Silas, or Paul and Barnabas rather, on their second missionary journey, Barnabas wants to take Mark. Well, Mark kind of bailed on him on the first missionary journey. And so Paul says, no, I don't want to take Mark. And they have a disagreement about it. So they decide to go their separate ways. They didn't quit loving each other. And that's the whole point. It's not that people don't have disagreements or go their separate ways sometimes. It means that even when that happens, love keeps loving. It keeps asking, H-W-J-L. <laughs> How would Jesus love in this moment? It just never stops. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. God shows. That's a continuous verb. That's present tense. That means he always is doing this. He never stops doing this. God shows continually his love for us in something that he did a long time ago. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Every time you're presented with the reality that back there, Christ came and he shed his blood for you, God shows you that he loves you this much. And right now, he's, he's reminding you, I love you this much. And so, very simply, do you know the love of God in your life? Have you acknowledged, have you done what those angels rejoice over? Have you acknowledged, yep, God is perfect and he is holy and I'm not. And I've offended his holiness, but he's made a way for me to be made right with him. He sent his son who shed his perfect blood on the cross for me. And that shows me how much God loves me. So I'm ready to repent. Acknowledge that I need him. Put my faith in Jesus Christ who said, go into the world and make disciples. So become a disciple, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You're ready to take that plunge and rise up and walk with Jesus all the days of your life.